and welcome to this uh, final part of my custom Hero Factory reviews. And at the end I'll be giving an announcement. So this version, so this one is of Rocker, Evo and Nex. So we're going to start with Nex. You'll see why it's in an odd order in a minute. So Nex has a double weapon. Uh, this is mainly Breakout 2.0 and I think a bit of 3.0 as well. Now his cannon can be oh, armed and disarmed at requirement and it it also has a clever trick for filming because if you have it this way like so you can just uh, put his arm like he's waving and then the next frame you can arm him with a weapon and then he shoots away. Next up we have uh, Evo. Uh, this time this is uh, the head is from Brain Attack thought it would look uh, different and new. He's actually a combination of blue and yellow. No, sorry, green and yellow. I think that would look nice. It's a new look for Evo. So this is a whip. A kind of electro whip, I think. This is... Uh, the whip part is actually from a Voltix figure. That I had lying around. And similar to um, Meltdowns, it can. Uh, it has the strength to uh, swirl people around, similar to a lasso. And then this is obviously inspired by the 2.0 and then the parts are from one of the new G2 Bionicle things and again with the with the uh, wave effect or the scratching head effect in this case um, you can disarm Evo But then it makes the head a bit less rotatable. And it may make some of the uh, sub parts on it come off even. I might need to modify the lasso. Um... And now we move on to Rocker. Now Rocker, he looks pretty awesome. It's a combination of 3.0, Brain Attack and Breakout. And I've given him a shoulder cannon. The shoulder cannon was actually inspired by the likes of Preceptor, Soundwave, uh, Blaster, uh, Quake. Inspired by a lot of Transformers uh, media and continuity. And then again you can disarm, well you can't disarm his sword and shield. And uh, the back is actually a reminder of Breakout. Uh, he looks awesome. I think Rocker's one of my best Hero Factory creations. 
that I've ever done. Originally it was an Ultra Magnus! Ultra Magnus! I'm in trouble! Sorry, it was... Sorry that I was referencing that uh, Transformers original Robots in Disguise advert that everyone... Uh, that everyone watched. Some of the parts are from the newer Toa Tahu figure. And, um, yeah. So, I'll tell you the reason I'm building these customs. Is because at some point... I am making a Lego Hero Factory continuation comic from the events of Brain Attack. We're not we're we're going to ignore Invasion from Below because Invasion from Below was an invasion of continuity errors, and I'm going to continue it post Brain Attack because and it's it's going to feature some. Uh, things that Hero Factory fans will love. Uh, I've already written down the first issue on script. I'm going to start making the comic as soon as I can. And it will you will know it's out because it will be up. And um, I hope you'll all watch it. Hope you'll all watch it in all there. Some surprises to delight fans of another continue another uh, franchise similar to Hero Factory in a few ways. Uh, I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you later. Live long and prosper.